The new photographic styles feature on iPhone 16 has a really powerful tool called Tone. Whilst that doesn't sound very exciting, what it basically does is reduces the amount of high dynamic range processing the iPhone camera does on your image. So what does that mean? Well, sometimes photos you take can look a little bit flat because the shadows have been brightened and the highlights have been darkened to ensure that everything is exposed properly. But in doing so, it can create an almost dull and not quite lifelike image that looks very flat. Well, Tone lets us change this. All I'm going to do is tap onto the Styles button in the top corner of the camera app and open up the editing grid at the bottom for whichever style I'm using. From here, I can move that white dot up or down to adjust the Tone setting. So moving it up will brighten everything and reduce the amount of shadows, whereas moving it down will do the opposite, and that will darken the shadows and midtones. As you experiment with this, you'll likely find a place on that grid that you like, and you can simply tap back into the middle of the viewfinder to return to the main camera mode. Your settings here will be remembered, and photos taken from now on will have a different style of processing applied to them. Incredibly though, you can also change this after you've taken the photo, without reducing the image quality. Simply edit a photo from the Photos app, and then tap onto Styles at the bottom. From here you can tap onto your chosen style, and you get that same grid back up to really fine-tune the tone of your photo. I've been exploring this feature for a couple of hours now while sitting here on the seafront in Plymouth, and it really does have a noticeable impact on the way my iPhone processes the photos I take. I can see myself using this feature a lot more in the future, to get more realistic and less processed images from my iPhone camera. And if you found this video interesting and you want to learn more about the iPhone 16, in fact iPhones in general, please do subscribe to my channel down below. There are hundreds of quick tip videos just like this one to help you get the most out of your device. And if you want to learn what's new in iOS 18, check out my ebook at the link below.